Set up ExpressVPN on Kodi for Chromebook. This tutorial will teach you how to set up and watch Kodi using ExpressVPN on Chromebook. General Contents, Part 1, From Your Desktop, Launch the ExpressVPN App for Chromebook. If you haven't installed the app yet, see the instructions on installing ExpressVPN on Chromebook. Part 2, Click Choose Location and Double Click on the location of your choice to connect. Part 2, Verify that your IP address has been changed. Part 4, Open Kodi and use it as you normally would. For instructions on installing Kodi on Chromebook, see the below link in this video guide. Part 1, Set up and use ExpressVPN on Chromebook. This tutorial will show you how to download, set up, and use your VPN app for Chromebook. By following the steps below, only apps downloaded from the Google Play Store will be protected by the VPN. To protect Chrome OS apps not downloaded from the Play Store as well, try the manual setup steps at https colon slash slash www.youtube.com slash watch question mark v equal sign d1a underscore hyphen jkopvc. Before proceeding, please check that your Chromebook supports Android apps. Android apps are now available on Asus Chromebook Flip Acer Chromebook R11 slash C738T slash CB5132T Google Chromebook Pixel, 2015, Contents, Enable Dev or Beta Channels. Download the VPN app. Set up the VPN app. Connect to a VPN server location. Disconnect from a VPN server location. Choose a different server location. How to run the ping test. How to switch VPN protocols. How to uninstall the VPN app from your Chromebook. Having trouble connecting? Try these solutions. 1. Enable dev or beta channels. Before you download the app, you'll need to enable the dev or beta channels on your administrator account. Click the status area, where your account picture appears. Click settings. At the top of settings, click about Chrome OS. Click more info. Under channels, click change channel. Select beta or developer, then click change channel. 2. Download the VPN app. Switch from your administrator account to a regular user account. This can be done by clicking your status area and then sign out. Sign back in using your regular user account credentials. On your desktop, click the Google Play Store icon. In the Play Store search bar, search for ExpressVPN. Select ExpressVPN, VPN for Android from the search results and click install. Click accept to begin the download. 3. Set up the VPN app. After the download is completed, you will see the ExpressVPN app icon in your list of applications. You can also search for it by typing ExpressVPN in your list of applications. Click the ExpressVPN app icon to open the app. Click login to begin the setup process. Enter the email address and password you used to sign up for ExpressVPN and then click login. After you've signed in, you will be informed that ExpressVPN is now activated for your Android device. Click next to continue. Your app will ask if you'd like to share anonymous information to help make ExpressVPN faster and more reliable. Click OK if you'd like to share anonymous analytics. 4. Connect to a VPN server location. To connect to a VPN server location, click the on button. By default, ExpressVPN will suggest the location that provides the optimal experience for you, a feature called Smart Location. The first time you try connecting to a VPN server, you will see an allow connection notification. Click OK to proceed. Once you see the VPN is on message on the app screen, you can begin surfing with freedom and security. As noted above, only apps downloaded from the Google Play Store will be protected by the VPN. Note, a single ExpressVPN subscription can be used simultaneously on three devices, regardless of platform. If you try to use more than three devices simultaneously on one subscription, you will see the below screen, 5. Disconnect from a VPN server location. To disconnect from the VPN server, click the on button while the VPN is on. You will know you are disconnected when the VPN is off message shown. 6. Choose a different VPN server location. To connect to a different server location, click on choose location to launch the location picker. To search for a location, enter a location name in the text search or browse the all locations tab. Text search, type the name of the country or city you'd like to connect to. The search results will narrow down to fit what you entered. When you see the server location you want to connect to, click on it to connect. All locations tab, expand the arrows to view the locations in a certain geographic region. To connect to a server location, click on it. If you would like to add a location to your favorites list for easy future access, simply click the star icon at the right of the location. To view your favorite locations, click on the favorites tab. You can connect to a location by clicking on it. 7. How to run the ping test. To run the ping test, click the speedometer icon at the top of the screen. Note, you must be disconnected from the VPN in order to run the ping test. Click on run test to run the ping test. 8. How to switch VPN protocols. VPN protocols are the methods by which your device connects to a VPN server. Switching to a different protocol can help you achieve faster connection speeds. To switch VPN protocols, click the About menu, in the top left corner of the screen. In the menu, click Settings. From the Settings menu, under VPN Settings, click VPN Protocol. Select your preferred protocol by clicking on it. 9. What to do if you need to uninstall the VPN app from your Chromebook? On your desktop, click the Google Play Store icon. In the Play Store search bar, search for ExpressVPN. Select ExpressVPN, VPN for Android from the search results and click Uninstall. Click OK to confirm you want to uninstall the app 10. Trouble connecting? Try the section below. 
If you encounter the ton driver missing error and slash or other connection related issues, please use the below troubleshooting guides to fix them. Error 1, opening ton interface failed badly. Error, cannot create interface on some custom ICS images the permission on slash dev slash ton might be wrong, or the ton module might be missing completely. For CM9 images try the fix ownership option under general settings. Or, sorry, your device is missing a component called the ton driver. Without this, ExpressVPN likely will not be able to connect successfully. Please tap learn more below for our latest information on how to fix this problem. Resolution. Recommended, connect manually to our gateways by configuring your Android settings. Here are the setup instructions at https colon slash slash www.youtube.com slash watch question mark v equal sign x c u c a a r 3 k 0 w express vpn l 2 tp on Android. Note, this only applies to paid subscriptions and not for trial subscriptions. There is no manual setup available for trial accounts. Install a compatible ton driver for your device. Note, this is only applicable for rooted devices. See more at www.cnet.com slash how hyphen to slash how hyphen to hyphen easily hyphen root hyphen and hyphen android hyphen device. Upgrade your device to the latest OS release. Try using the Express VPN app on another Android device. Error 2, opening ton interface failed badly. Error, command 11192 interface firmware rule at TUN0 failed with 411192 failed to add firmware rule, device or resource busy. This error message usually occurs when the needed interface is not responding. Resolution, reboot your device and try connecting to an Express VPN server location afterwards. Error 3, HTTP proxy support only works for TCP based connections. Management got unrecognized line from management error, proxy command failed. This error message usually occurs if your network has proxy setup or UDP ports are blocked on your network. Resolution, change your VPN protocol from UDP to TCP. Review the instructions for changing your VPN protocol above. Error 4, P write UDP can refused, operation not permitted, code equals 1. This error message is usually due to your Android device's battery slash energy saving features limiting the VPN connection's activities. Common effects are disconnection or stability issues. Resolution, go to your Android device's settings. Select battery from the device settings list. Tap on battery optimization, or app optimization, for your device, select all apps from the drop down menu, i.e. by default, not optimized is selected. Scroll down and find and select Express VPN from the listed applications. Select the don't optimize option and then tap on done. Relaunch Express VPN, and then try connecting again to the VPN. Error 5, error, cannot open ton. Resolution, uninstall Express VPN from your device. Download the Express VPN app for Android again. You can do so by accessing your Express VPN welcome email. Set up your app, start up the app and connect to an Express VPN server location. Error 6, some users can have trouble connecting to Express VPN after upgrading from Android 4, Jellybean or KitKat, to Android 5, Lollipop, 6, Marshmallow, or 7, Nougat. Resolution, power off your device. Turn on device. Connect to an Express VPN server location. Tap OK when prompted by the connection request dialog box. Part 2, click choose location and double click on the location of your choice to connect. Part 3, verify that your IP address has been changed by accessing the below page at https colon slash slash www.expressvpn.com slash what hyphen is hyphen my hyphen IP. Part 4, open Kodi and use it as you normally would. For instructions on installing Kodi on Chromebook, see more steps at https colon slash slash www.techjunkie.com slash install hyphen Kodi hyphen Chromebook.